What's up, YouTube? Goku Flex here, and today doing something a little different. We're doing a Q&A. Last week, I asked you guys to ask me questions, non-fitness related questions, and today, in this video, we're gonna answer them. So, let's get going. First question, what career would you choose if not coaching slash online trainer? Okay, so, to be honest, I only started getting really into the coaching and online training maybe about maybe eight months to a year ago and prior to that back before I moved to New York I was actually working at a restaurant and I worked at a restaurant for years waiting tables just because it was good cash tips and I got really complacent and guys if there's anything that I learned from all my years on earth is never become complacent in anything you know you guys do not want to be that guy working five ten years at McDonald's because you guys just got because the benefits are good or you know you got a 25 cent raise or something and no offense if that's you watching this video but that was the worst mistake I've made in my life is becoming complacent I just got real comfortable just making you know I was making good money working really little hours I had all the benefits and everything and yeah then we moved to New York everything changed so I'd either still be working at a restaurant or two uh, fun fact actually have my real estate license for New York so I'd either I'd probably be selling real estate and I'd probably be making a lot more money than I am now I'll be honest because I can sell and New York is a really good place to do real estate but it's just not what I love. I chose to do what I love instead and not chase the money. So I'd be probably selling like um, apartments, doing apartments, rentals, not houses or anything. And I probably would be, be making pretty decent money. But probably wouldn't love what I do like I do today. Like, uh, alright, anyways, this is getting long. Let's move to the next question. How long have you been with your girlfriend? Do you decide to marry her? <laughs> that escalated quickly. Anyways. So me and my girlfriend have been together for seven years. Yeah, seven years. Sorry. I had to think about that. You really started losing count after five. And after you hit the first year, you lose count until, the, until you hit year five. And then after five, you probably lose count until year ten. And yeah, so we've been together for seven years. Yes, a really long time. Um, do you decide to marry her? Yes, we have talked about marriage. I mean, we've been together for seven years and we're eventually going to get married when we decide to settle down and which is probably going to be a time where we move back to Hawaii to be closer to family and buy a house and decide to have kids and whatnot. Right now, I just don't want to... I still want to live life and experience a lot more before I make that step to settling down. Next question. Dragon Ball aside, who is your favorite superhero hero, and why? Much love, brah. Um, so my favorite superhero, I'm gonna have to say Batman. And really he doesn't have any superpowers, powers, but he's like this multi-billionaire in the day and superhero fighting crime at night. I just think he's a badass, especially, you know, everything that's happened in his life going to now he decided to turn a negative you know of course watching your parents you know get shot is a huge negative and could have just put him in you know the totally wrong direction but he decided to turn that negative and flip it into a positive and actually start fighting crime and stuff and I think that's amazing so I'm gonna have to stick with Batman and basically his whole dark side kind of thing it's just really cool next question have you ever considered being a porn star Hashtag Brazzers. No G for P. Are those guys even considered porn stars? No, they're not. Sorry. So, funny story actually. I have been approached, this was like four or five years ago. Probably longer. Yeah, probably longer. I must have been, yeah, this was a long time ago. Maybe like six, seven years ago. But I remember I was lifting in town. This was back when I was in Hawaii. And this guy... He looked like he was in the porn business, <laughs> but he approached me, he gave me his, like, his card and actually prospected me to be in his video. I 
declined. He insisted I take his card. It was really weird to say the least, but funny nonetheless. Okay, next question. I don't think it's blah blah blah. Did any specific YouTube channels influence you to start your channel? And I'm gonna just say no. I didn't really have any big influences into starting my channel. Um, I started this channel mainly just because I wanted to give back and just pay it forward. That's the whole reason I wanted to start my channel. I found my gift and I love fitness. You know, I love going to the gym, I love helping people, I love seeing people transform, I love changing lives, and I just wanted to give back and pay it forward, and I thought, what better way than making free videos for you guys. Next question. Uh, where did you go to school? What is your day job? So my day job is, I do work out at, um, I do do training. Do do training. <laughs> so, yeah, I do training at a gym, and I do online training as well. Majority of my work is comprised of online training though now. Uh, did I, where did I go to school? I did not go to school. So I've had, I think I had like three or four, maybe five questions about if I went to college and stuff like that. And no, the answer is no, I did not go to college. Um, reason being is I wasn't the greatest student in high school. I was one of those kids that either I was making a lot of noise in class, sleeping, or if I wasn't sleeping or making a lot of noise, I was hanging around the hallways with the bathroom pass. We had bathroom passes. And me and, and like school just, me and school just never clicked. I always felt like a caged animal inside the classroom. Like I needed to be like released. And it's not that I was stupid or anything. If I tried real hard, I got good, I got decent grades. I mean, I'm not the smartest, but I was a decent student. Um, then when it came to college, I had all I had lots of older friends growing up, and lots of my older friends coming out of college were coming out with tons and tons of debt, and they would work two to three jobs just to pay off the debt, and then they majored in here, like let's say yeah they majored over here, but then they'd work something totally different that didn't match their degree, and I just didn't understand it so. I just made the decision that it wasn't for me and I decided just to go to work and start saving money instead. And that was my decision. I do recommend that all you guys watch this video. I know lots of younger people watch these videos. I do recommend you guys go to college. I think college is great, although I've never been to it. Um, what are your other hobbies besides lifting? So other hobbies besides lifting would be traveling. Ever since we moved to New York, we've been, we've been doing lots of traveling. We not we did some decent traveling this year. Um, definitely want to explore the East Coast more, experience more. Um, League of Legends. <laughs> I haven't had chance as much chance as I'd like to play. You know, League of Legends, but I've been playing. Oh yeah, and some of you guys, some of you guys asked me what my username is. It's Jungla. J U N G L A. Jungla, like jungle. Uh, and outside of that, just eating. New York has some of the best foods in the world, and I just love it. That's probably the best thing I love about moving to New York. In Hawaii, if like a new restaurant opens up, it's like the new big thing, and everyone knows about it. And you know, everyone goes to this new spot. In New York, there's so many places opening up, closing down, and there's so many awesome places that you know you can ask someone where their favorite donut shop is, and they'll have. They'll say one thing, you ask another person, they'll say another place because there's so many good food going on here and I love food so I want to experience it all. That's why you guys will see me going out to eat almost every weekend to like different restaurants. What sports do you follow and what teams do you follow from these sports? So I don't really follow sports too much anymore. I used to play fantasy football, I got really addicted and competitive into it, so I decided to stop because I'm a real competitive person, so I would study for hours and hours, so I stopped doing that. I do root for the Giants, coming from New York, um, although they're not doing well, so... <laughs> and oh yeah, we follow the Nets. Our first professional basketball game that I've been to was the Nets game, so I guess we're Nets fans now, so we follow the Nets even though... They're not looking too well, good either. But Knicks and Nets game tonight. Hopefully the Nets smash them.
by the time you guys see this video, the game will already have happened, so. <laughs> Alright. Uh, have I addressed my goals for fitness? Okay, there's a fitness question. What's my goals for fitness? So, first of all, my goal for fitness right now is to help and give back. I have some huge resolutions for next year that I'll tell you guys as it gets closer to that time. And I have some huge plans and huge goals to do. But right now my goal is coaching and helping you guys. Okay, creating quality content to help you guys make gains. Secondly, for my personal goals, um, is just to grow. I want to just grow, learn different Right now I'm learning the front squat, I just started learning sumo deadlifts and just grow, get stronger, get bigger, you know. I'm 10 years natural, 10 years natural lifting and I'm only 170, I think 174 pounds this morning. So the gains are coming real slow, One probably 1 to 2 pounds a year-ish. So yeah, but my first goal is just to pay it forward, first and foremost. Um, where do you take your chat where do you aim to take your channel in the foreseeable future so for this channel I just want to grow that's all plain and simple I want us to grow as a family I want to help you guys inspire you guys motivate you guys and I just want to grow I want to create this you know this fitness family I want to create a family Saiyan army you know I want us to want us to rise up and just keep paying it forward you know Preaching if it fits your macros, preaching dieting, preaching just the lifestyle. The lifestyle of just working out, being healthy, looking good, being aesthetic as fuck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, do you go to the dentist to whiten your teeth or do you use Crest White Strips? So, I just started whitening my teeth. I do think part of it's because this lighting that I have here, our apartment's very dark, so I had to buy a light for our apartment. Um, but I actually have it on my desk here. I bought these. It's called like Dr. Song. So basically, I have Invisalign. What I do is I'll take one of these, I'll squirt like a little bit into my Invisalign, and I wear it for about 20 to 30 minutes. So if you guys buy this, I bought these from Amazon by the way. Just search Dr. Song, you'll find it. It's cheap. So, the thing with that is it's very strong. For my, I don't really have that sensitive teeth, but 30 minutes with that, and my teeth start getting real sensitive. So start with 10 to 15 minutes, or maybe even less, gauge, gauge it, gauge it. But it works really well. I've only used it like twice, and I saw a difference. So, it works. Last question! I don't even know how long this video is, but last question. What is your favorite movie? Okay, so my favorite movie of all time is, or I have a couple favorite movies, okay? The first one I'll name is Fight Club. If you guys haven't seen Fight Club, it's like the best movie. Fight Club, when I first saw it, I, was, I didn't really get it. I was kind of confused, so I didn't really like it. Then I saw it the second time and things started clicking and I'm like, oh, okay, this movie kind of makes sense. Third time I saw it, I was like, Damn, this movie is amazing, and it's the greatest movie ever, Fight Club. Next movie is Gladiator. I just love that era, that Gladiator era of just fighting for your freedom and that brotherhood. And yeah, I love Gladiator. And yeah, if I probably, if I like, let's say I could die and come back as like a ghosty ghost or something, and you know, lurk the halls of a time period, like for a week or something, and just hang out and just see how it is. That's probably the time period that I'd go back to, that gladiator era. Um, yeah, I also love that, that Spartan, I wouldn't say 300 is like one of my favorite movies. Spartacus, another good TV show, not a movie. Um, what other favorite movies? Those are probably my top two though. Yeah, easily both of those are my top two. And I guess I gotta say, right, Dragon Ball Z, Battle of the Gods, right, right? <laughs> I will say that was pretty epic. I wasn't expecting much when it first came out just because they've been trying to like create new shit for Dragon Ball and they came out with that lame movie. Um, but Battle of the Gods was pretty damn good and I hope they... I haven't been keeping up so you guys probably know more than me. But I hope they come out with more quality stuff like that. Anyways, 
that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was entertaining for you guys. I'll see you guys all in the next video. If you guys made it this far, just comment below peaches and cream. Alright? Comment below peaches and cream if you guys made it to the end of this video so I know you guys watched it all and enjoyed it. Love you guys all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Aloha. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! Immortal!